Welcome back to Zach's Garage. In this video, we are going to be removing the oil pump first, and then the starter, and then the flywheel, and then lastly the crankshaft. So without further ado, here is the third and final part of the Mercruiser 3.0 liter teardown video series. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and take off this oil pump here. So I'm going to get that out of there. And then the next thing will be uh, getting the crankshaft itself out. You can see all the bolts here for that all along. Let's go ahead and get that out. Alrighty, got the bolts out on the oil pump here. So now you can just pull it straight out. A little bit of oil residue left on there. So now a little bit of a wrinkle dinkle before we can get the crankshaft out. I'm gonna need to get the flywheel off. But in order to get it off, I'm gonna need to take some bolts off on the outside of it, you can see there. But to get to those, I'm gonna need to take the engine back off the stand. Now that's gonna be a little bit tricky. What I think I'm gonna try to do is, uh, I think I'm gonna get the engine hoist and hook it up over at this other side, right here. And then I'm gonna try to leave this part of this attached and then just slide it out of here and hold it on one end while the engine hoist holds the other end and then let it down slowly. Well, I could have taken the flywheel off on the ground, but I decided to pick it up onto here, which is a pain in the butt. Alrighty guys, gonna go ahead and take off the uh, engine stand mount right here. And then I'm gonna take off the flywheel, then I'm gonna take off the starter, and then... Let me show you guys a trick for getting these bolts out of the flywheel. So a problem you'll find is these guys are in here really tight. You really need a longer breaker bar ratchet to get them off. I can barely get it with this one. Thing is, when you're putting all this force on here, you start turning the flywheel. So something I've done to get around that problem as you can see up here, let me show y'all, up here I put in this bolt and this is the exact same bolt we used with the engine stand over there. When you put a bolt in one of those holes, guess what, it starts turning until it hits the mounting bracket for the starter. That's more than enough to hold it there while you put torque on these to turn. So, just a little trick for you guys. It's finally got those flywheel bolts all loosened up. Let me tell you, they're on there pretty tight. I'm sure the rust around it didn't help. Uh, before I can pull this off, it's actually getting stuck on this little cover on the starter, so I gotta take the starter off first. Bolts on the starter actually aren't on there too hard. A lot looser than the uh, flywheel ones anyways.
All right, got the starter off. That's a pretty solid amount of weight itself. Ooh, that gear in there looks like it got a bit of a ru the rust from the teeth on the flywheel. Anyways, there you go for that. Now you ought to be able to get that bad boy off. Alrighty, got all the bolts out of here. Ooh, there you go. Wow, that sucker's heavy. That's where a lot of weight was coming from on the engine. It's probably at least, I don't know, 30 pounds just by itself. Alrighty, getting these bolts off here and here now. No, oh, and they're too tight. Just a little bit of a tug got them loose. Got the two bolts out the top. There's two more down on the bottom though. Alrighty, I got all these bolts here all loosened up. It did take a little extra with this uh, cheater bar stuck on the end of the ratchet there to help give me that extra torque so they were on there good so now i'll just finish unscrewing those then we'll see if we can pop this crank out Alrighty, got this first one out here doesn't look too bad don't feel any ridges in there um tiny little speckle of Oh, never mind. No rest. It does list here number four for the position it's in. So it goes from left to right, left being the front of the engine, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the back. This big bearing bracket here on this last one on the end, it's a bit tougher to get out. I actually had to hit underneath this to sort of push it up. Because this one, the... Uh, sort of bushing here folds out all the way around the side here and on the other side as well to form a nice uh, a nice fit to it so got that one out there went a bolt now I should be able to just Pull the crankshaft out. Let's see how easy it is. Hmm. Holy cow. Crankshaft's heavy, guys. <laughs> we got that crankshaft out of there. Let me tell you, it was a little tough to get out, but sometimes it's just what you got to do. Let me show you all over here. Look at that. Man, I'm telling you guys, that crankshaft was heavy. That was probably half the weight of the engine right there. Well, maybe not that much, but it, it probably was at least 20 or 30 pounds. I mean, that's a pretty good amount. Between taking that off and the flywheel... I can probably just lift up the rest of the block on my own. Alright guys, I'm going ahead and I'm getting those uh, sort of bearing plates out of there too. You can see I got that one out there. It's really not too hard. You just take a little, uh, little flathead or something to pry at the corner of it to get it started and then you just pop it out of there. It's hard to do while holding the camera. Before I get carried away with getting all these out, I do want to make a note of, see that little notch indention there? That's on this left hand side here for looking at it upside down. This is the front where the water pump is. And on this other side, there's not that indention on it. And I want to keep track of one, two, three, four, five. Keep them in order just in case. Alrighty guys, I got the garage cleaned up quite a bit. 
So, got all the tools organized and stuff. Then got everything out of the garage and then blew it out with the blower. So now the floor is mostly clean. You can still see a few marks where some stuff had dripped on the ground. I got some degreaser to put on that to get any oil stains out. So I'll have to get to that later. But we've got the engine block stripped down, ready to go to the machine shop. The only thing left that is still left in it is the tube for the dipstick, which I honestly don't know if I can get it out. And then there's a... Uh, this is where the little twist-in blue water plug went. And then there's still the uh, freeze plugs in. Um, and then the camshaft bearings are still in. Took the crankshaft bearings out. Camshaft ones are a little more uh, difficult, I guess, because they're, they're pushed together pretty well. And that is where we're going to end today's video. If you guys found this helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. And if any of you want to follow the project and see all the new videos as they come out, you can subscribe to the channel. I know 31 subscribers is quite a large army already. I mean, it's not 100 million or nothing, but we could always use new recruits in our forces. And with that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.